Okay, here we go. Got the damn thing to work right now. Okay, this is the start of a new little project. Um, it's a relatively straightforward one, but it does incorporate um, two development environments. Um, currently, this is the hardware. It's using a an Arduino with four data lines going to four resistors of about 200k going to four LEDs, light emitting diodes. It also has, let me unplug it, put some light on it, this little Bluetooth Wi-Fi unit. Um, this thing uses 5 volts as you can maybe make out here 5 volts but the interesting thing is that the receive pin requires a level of 3.3 .3 volts I have no idea why and it seems so damn stupid but there you go what do I know so we plug that back in there so we've got these four data lines coming from the Arduino Uno. As I say, going through four 200K-ish to resistors, uh, to LED, sorry. Now, because the receive pin on here has to be 3.3 .3 volt level, and the Arduino outputs a five volt level signal, then I have to put in a voltage divider to get this this uh, 5 volt level here down to 3.3-ish. Um, so this only requires two resistors, one being double the size of the other. And to keep the current down, it's best you make them 1K or greater. So the 5 volt signal comes in here, goes through a 1K, and then connects to a 2K to ground. And here we pick up basically a 3.3 .3 volt signal to go to the receive pin. This is the transmit pin from the Arduino. It is transmitting data to the Bluetooth module so obviously that data has to go into the receive of this module. Other than that, we've got power on ground, which is five volts. As you can see from here, it's just, well, it's hidden behind these cables, but there we are, look. Five volt and ground going down to the top bus then linked over to the bottom bus LED sitting on ground and so on. That's it as far as the hardware goes. Very, very, very simple. Now to try and confuse things, my circuit diagram, <laughs> such that it is. Let me unplug it. I'll put this here. Okay, there is the Bluetooth module. Yep. And it needs 5 volts ground coming from the Arduino. It has a transmit pin, which means it's sending data to the Arduino. And in my case, I've set pin 5 as the receive pin on the Arduino. So obviously, just like before, you have to... Oh, something just fell on the floor. Never mind. You have to take the transmitted data from the Bluetooth module and stick it into a receive pin on the Arduino. Now similarly, the receive data into the Bluetooth module, let me straighten it up again. It has to receive data transmitted by the Arduino. Now I've picked pin 4, which is a 5 volt level signal. 
from the Arduino. I've run it through this voltage divider, which is a 1K, 2K. Now, in this wonderful piece of mathematics here, we've got 5 volts divided by 3, which is 3K, doesn't matter if it's 300, 3,000, 3 million. It's still 3. Times 2 equals 3.3 .3 volts recurring. So out of the center tap here, between the two resistors, we're going to get 3.3 .3 volts, which is what this module needs to receive data. Now on the other side of this, we also have, from the Arduino, data pins 8, 9, 10 and 11 go through a couple hundred ohm resistors, thereabouts. You can actually tweak the value of these resistors according to the color of the LED, because certain LEDs um, glow brighter or dimmer. Um, I think I've used blue, red, yellow, and green. And you can actually tweak them if you're that fussed, but don't worry about it. They go through to four LEDs, as I've just said, onto ground. Now, within the application software, within the Arduino, the sketch, if I send a one to the Bluetooth module, it will put on, or it will toggle, this LED. So if it were on, it goes off. If it were off, it goes on. Same applies for LED 2, 3, and 4. So that's it as far as the um, hardware goes, I guess. All right, we'll move on.